guy who came up with jeans must have been very genius. <laughs> some call him Levi, some call him Levi. It depends on where you went to school. But anyway, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to rock a blazer with jeans and look superb while at it. What's up good people, welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, I am David Ochola and this is Wardrobe Chronicles. On this channel, I make videos that will not only help you be confident in who you are, but also help you present the best version of yourself to the rest of the world. If that's something you're interested in, be sure to hit that subscribe button right now and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on the weekly videos I post here. I post videos every Sunday at 10 a.m. East African time and that's great content that will help you put your best foot forward. That said, let's jump right into it. The first way to rock jeans with a blazer is to wear it with a turtleneck. A turtleneck with a blazer will give a very sophisticated look that will not only make you look intelligent but will also make you look stylish. Many guys usually shy away from turtlenecks for some reason but I find no reason to shy away from them because ha, I am not a Shylock. <laughs> anyway, I'm kidding. As I was saying, there's no reason to shy away from turtlenecks because they are a great way to show your personal style, yeah? When it comes to what colors you can rock, it just depends on you. You can go a little more colorful like this or red or maroon or you can go a little more subtle like maybe say navy blue, black and gray. Those are more subtle colors as opposed to colorful ones. But personally, the bolder, the better. When you're wearing a turtleneck, a blazer and jeans, when it comes to footwear, you can wear boots or some formal leather shoes or tassels. Tassels really work well. So it really comes down to personal taste. But if you can, I mean, go ahead and rock any of these and you will look superb. The second way to rock a blazer with jeans is to wear it with a t-shirt. I would suggest you tuck in the t-shirt because most of the time it will look a little more dressy and you look a little more formal when you tuck in your shirt as opposed to untucking the t-shirt. But that comes down to what you're wearing in terms of footwear and personal taste, yeah? I would also suggest you go for plain t-shirts. Plain t-shirts work better when they are dressed up as opposed to a graphic t-shirt because graphic t-shirts are just generally supposed to be casual and it would be better to rock them in the way they are meant to be worn, if that makes sense. The other thing to consider when rocking a blazer with a t-shirt and jeans is to maybe go for a blazer that's a bit unconstructed. That means it doesn't have strong shoulder padding because that's going to be a more casual outfit as opposed to wearing something that's more padded, which makes it look a little more formal. Another thing you can also think about is the color because most of the time you'll find colors like black are very tricky to pull off with jeans and a blazer yeah because it will give you a problem with the type of shoes you should wear just avoid it you can go for colors like navy blue like gray and those sorts of colors yeah colors that are a little more casual or maybe a checked blazer or a tweed blazer will work really really well the next way to rock jeans and a blazer and this one is the most common yeah is to wear it with a shirt whether it's a formal shirt or a little more casual like an oxford shirt this is a great way to look really really good Many people usually mistake this for people who are a little older, like say 30, 40 and above that. But if you want to look a little more mature than your age, or maybe you just want to look sophisticated, you can pull this off. But please make sure that you tuck in that shirt. It will look even better when you tuck it in. When it's untucked, it looks a little sloppy and that's not what you're going for. We're going for a mature look. You're going for that money look that will make you look superb. When it comes to footwear, when you're pulling this off, I'd suggest you go for a pair of leather shoes, but casual leather shoes. Like for example, monk straps. I would suggest you go for wingtips or brogues that are a little more casual, especially in brown. Another good option is leather sneakers, which are very rare, but if you can pull it off, I mean, why not go ahead and kill it. Another way you can style a blazer and jeans is to wear a polo shirt. A polo shirt is a very sophisticated item actually. On its own, it's a statement piece. Especially if you're in your 20s, it's a statement piece. But when you're over 20 and 30, you know, that's something that you can pull off. But it doesn't mean you cannot try it. I'd suggest when you're pulling this off, go for plain polo shirts. Like say, for example, a gray polo shirt is the best option. Other options include a white one, a navy one, those will work really well. A red one is a tricky one to pull off because it's a bit bold and it's an item that can be worn on its own as opposed to these other ones that can be worn with other things. So just learn how to pull it off and you're good to go. 
when it comes to footwear i would suggest you go for something a little more casual and by something a little more casual i mean a pair of leather sneakers that will look really really ideal when it comes to pulling this off i would also suggest that you tuck in the polo shirt it will look a little more neat and a little more mature as opposed to untucking it which will look more <laughs> tacky <laughs> if you know what i mean i know i'm not talking about this tacky i'm talking about this tacky and those are four ways that you can pull off a blazer with jeans i hope you found this video helpful but before we go i'd like to just share with you some ground rules so to say that will help you even look better number one the look will look better with plain jeans plain and simple number two unless it's a t-shirt tuck it in it will look neater like that number three the simpler the better don't go for overkill accessorizing it with pocket squares and lapel pins and a hat and all that stuff no you don't need that as it is a blazer and jeans is already a combination that speaks for itself it's already bold so it doesn't need more added on to it i don't know if i should call them rules because rules are meant to be bent so i think these are just tips for you to think about whenever you want to pull this off just so that when you're starting out you will look neat you will not look like you don't know what you're doing and then over time when you realize what works for you and what doesn't you can now keep bending the rules as you go and just pull it off the way you would and just be creative just be yourself that brings me to the end of today's video in case you found this video helpful and you liked it be sure to drop a like down below i'd really really appreciate it check out my instagram for more outfit inspiration apart from the ones i showed you in this video i'll see you in the next one i wish you a lovely week ahead keep crushing it a little colors that are really colors hey. when it comes to footwear when you're pulling this off i'd suggest